in the last video we discussed about scale range and scale span for example the characteristics of instrument are their scale span and scale range you can understand by taking a numerical problem a thermometer is calibrated between 200 degrees to 500 degrees centigrade now the range of instrument is 200 to 500 degrees or 500 degrees x max minus x minimum is scale span scale span is given by 300 degrees centigrade the span we have to find out a thermometer is calibrated between 200 to 500 degrees centigrade now the range of instrument what is the range means maximum is 500 degrees centigrade whereas minimum is 200 degrees centigrade the scale span is given by the formula is x max minus x minimum hence the span of the instrument is 300 degrees centigrade 300 degree centigrade is the span now another characteristic of static characteristic another one is dead zone it is also called as dead time what is dead zone or dead time of an instrument is it is defined as the largest change of input for uh, suppose if an instrument uh, if you give the input but uh, the respond response of instrument is zero suppose for larger type instruments if you give small milliamps suppose the ammeter is 0 to 100 milli 100 amps for 0 to 100 amps if you give 1 milliamp it won't go inflection ammeter if it is a meter 0 to 100 milliamps if you give 1 milliamps for this it won't give deflection that is dead time of that instrument it is defined as the largest change of input quantity for which there is no output from the instrument it is defined as the largest change of input quantity for which there is no output for the instruments it that is called dead time or dead zone it is a dead zone of the instrument if you give small input for a large meters it won't deflect that time up to some in incremental it is required for measuring instrument to begin the respond to begin to respond or for change in measurement for example if you apply the instrument maybe if you apply that 1 milliamp for 100, 100 amps uh, ammeter it won't overcome the friction and all the errors all the losses it is the input applied to instrument sufficient to overcome the friction it will respond when you apply the input more than friction more than the friction error friction suppose if you consider an instrument like this if you consider an instrument like this input time it is the time if you consider it is a time on x-axis or time we consider input or output this is the input we given but output came after some time it is a dead time of the instrument it is also one of the characteristic for example if you consider it is a dead time td it is a dead time td although input is given output is not obtained although input is obtained input is be given but output not obtained after some time it starts because it uh, during this moment during this time the instrument may be in ideal condition or dead zone it is known as it is dead zone dead zone of the instrument is up to t1 it is dead zone the dead zone for example if you consider any instrument after come overcoming the all the air friction and wind friction and bearings errors after overcoming all this it will give some deflection if you consider analog instruments if you consider digital instrument the dead time is less for digital instruments the next characteristic is static error static error or error is same but it comes to static characteristic we found that it is a static characteristic static error is static characteristic error is defined as difference between measure value to true value the error may be defined as difference between measure value to true value but a static why we are using static term means it is comes under static characteristics if you are finding if the condition is process condition is unvarying with respect to time then it is known as static error Static error is defined as the difference between measured value to true value of the quantity measured if the process condition is not varying with respect to time. 
the true value or exact value of measurement the true value is exact value of measurement simply we can say that static error is delta a equal to del a equal to am minus at where am is known as measured value at is known as true value del a is known as static error this we have to remember it is a very important definition comes comes under instrumentation what is static error everybody knows that error what is static error del a equal to am minus at measured value minus true value where del a is also called as absolute static error it is also called as absolute static error that is where del a is also called as absolute static error absolute static error del a is also called as epsilon naught where epsilon naught is known as static absolute static error we can represent static error by means of del a and epsilon naught epsilon naught here is static error epsilon naught is the absolute permittivity in case of magnetic measurements magnetic properties but we have to remember what is del a what is del a equal to static error equal to am minus at that is made as equation one it is very important topic in the instrumentation what is static error what is relative error finding the relative error make it as equation one equation one is del a equal to am minus at coming to coming to relative static error it is the ratio of absolute static error to true value of measurement that is the, the ratio relative static error means relative permittivity means it is the ratio with respect to air similarly relative static error is the absolute static error to true value of measurement is known as relative static error it is also given by epsilon r equal to del a by at del a is known as absolute static error that is also equal to epsilon naught we can replace del a as epsilon naught we can replace del a as epsilon naught epsilon by at make it as equation number two from equation one what is at at equal to am minus del a from equation one what is equation one del a equal to a minus a t from this a t equal to you can get this equation a t equal to from this a t equal to a m minus del a since del a equal to epsilon naught absolute static error a t equal to a m minus epsilon naught can be written as epsilon or a t from equation two from this equation two we can write epsilon epsilon r equal to epsilon naught by at absolute static error by true value is known as relative static error from that we can say substitute at equal to am minus epsilon or at from equation 2 it is epsilon or at equal to del a in place of del a we substituted epsilon or at from this at equal to am minus epsilon or at at if you send this this side epsi at plus epsilon or at equal to am that equal to at if you made common if you made common at if you made common at 1 plus epsilon or equal to am therefore at equal to am by 1 plus epsilon or that is the relation between true value to relative error am by 1 plus epsilon or what is relative error relative static error is am by measured value by relative static error is given by epsilon naught by am relative static error is epsilon naught by at it is relative static error this relations important as exam point of view we have to remember this and the another one is static correction let us discuss about static correction static correction is simply one thing it is the negative of now we go for static correction static correction is the difference between true value to measured value previously we discussed about a static error static error del a equal to 
am minus at measured value minus true value that is static error but uh, static correction means negative of this negative of del a negative of del a is nothing but static correction if the instrument has some error static correction will be negative of static error static correction you will get oh, you have to remember simply what is static correction is negative of static error am minus at if you made am minus at if you write like this am minus at then simply suppose the static error is one static error what is static error static error is defined as am minus at del a equal to am minus at suppose del a static error is 10 10 percent what is the static correction is delta c del c equal to minus 10 minus 10 percent static correction is simply we are applying negative sign for that that is static correction correction suppose if any error occur in any instrument what is the correction factor correction we have to consider suppose 10 10 revolutions made by the disk is the error then correction will be 10 we have to reduce similarly static correction is negative of static error for example consider an example what is static correction what is static error consider an example a thermometer reads 95.4 degrees and static correction is minus 0 0.08 degrees centigrade in the correction curve find the true value of temperature static correction is given by del c equal to at minus am that is del c equal to minus del a minus del a am minus at but at minus am therefore at equal to true value equal to del c plus am am is given as 95.4 degrees and del c correction factor static correction is given by minus 0 0.08 degree centigrade therefore at equal to temperature actual temperature or true value of temperature is del c plus 95.4 from that del c is nothing but minus of del a 95.32 is the true value of temperature that is the value true value 95.32 del c plus am static correction is del c equal to minus 0 0.08 already they given if you add this to this one then you will get 95.32 let us consider another example let us consider a voltage has true value 1.50 volts an analog instrument with a scale range of 0, 0 to 2.5 volts shows a voltage of 1.46 what is the value of absolute error and static correction in instrumentation what a voltage has a true value true value is 80 80 is given by 1.50 volts at is given by 1.50 volts scale range of the instrument is 0 to scale range of the instrument is 0 to 2.50 volts voltage measured measured value is 1.46 absolute error is given by del a equal to am minus at 1.46 minus 1.50 therefore we can calculate absolute static error that is minus 0.04 given that we have to calculate we have to calculate what are the values of absolute error and static correction uh, absolute error is given by del a equal to minus 0 0.04 volts how to calculate am minus at static correction is plus of this one plus of that one that is a negative of absolute static error what is del c del c equal to minus del a del c equal to minus del a we can get like that therefore static correction is given by del c equal to negative of del a measure absolute error that is minus of minus 0 0.04 that is 0 0.04 volts therefore static correction for that instrument is 0 0.4 we have to remember del c equal to minus del a now we go for another example how to calculate static error absolute static error a meter reads 127.50 volts and true value of voltage is 127.43 determine its 
static error and correction factor static correction meter reading measured value is 127.5 true value is 127.43 hence static error of instrument is del a equal to a minus a t where a static correction is a minus of del a that is del a is given by 127.50 minus 127.43 Finally, you will get del A equal to 0 0.07. If you want to static correction, del C equal to minus del A that is minus 0 0.07 volts is the static correction. That is static correction 0 minus 0 0.07 volts. Next, another important static characteristic sensitivity. Sensitivity is defined as the change in input. If you change the input, if the output also changes, it is more sensitive. Some instruments are there, whatever be the input you give, some output will not be obtained. For a small change in input, what is the output to obtain that is known as sensitivity. If you consider the, according to sensitivity of the instruments, if you consider the girls and boys sensitivity, the boys are less sensitive compared to words, if you talk any word also, the boys are less sensitive. If you talk any small word also, the girls may be cry they may be painful that is the sensitivity more sensitive means for if you change the input if the output is changed it is sensitive we can define by using sensitivity is the ratio of change in output to change in input if you consider input on x-axis and y-axis is output then the output curve input versus output curve if you draw a linear curve then small portion if you can assume for a small change in input delta qi what is the change in output delta q naught that is sensitivity sensitivity is defined as the ratio of change in output to change in input simply we have to remember sensitivity of any instrument is for a small change in instrument what is the change in output if you change the input the change in output the ratio gives sensitivity sometimes sensitivity may be different instruments may be different manner these are all the characteristics static characteristics one is accuracy second is precision third is dead zone fourth is resolution and fifth one is dynamic error static error static correction all these are comes under static characteristics now we go for dynamic characteristics what is dynamic character dynamic means changing continuously changing time with respect to time if the input is changing what about the performance characteristics of the instrument that is dynamic characteristics let us discuss that dynamic characteristics now what is the dynamic characteristics dynamic characteristics of the instrument is the performance characteristics those are also performance characteristics because when the input is changing with respect to time if you obtain the characteristics those are dynamic characteristics of measuring system the dynamic characteristics or the performance characteristics of the measuring system when measurement is function of time varying with respect to time if the measurement is varies then it is known as dynamic characteristics dynamic response of a measuring system is known as subjected to dynamic input dynamic response of measurement system when it is subjected to dynamic input not static input most of the measuring systems belongs to either first order or second order you know that and these characteristics broadly classified into speed of response fidelity bandwidth dynamic error measurement lag and time constant what are the dynamic characteristics you studied in control systems also rise time peak time and settling time those are also dynamic characteristics the most of the measurement system belongs to either first order or second order and these characteristics broadly classified into speed of response that is time response fidelity bandwidth dynamic error measurement lag and time constant these are the various types of uh, characteristics dynamic characteristics next what is speed of response speed of response of measurement system refers to it is time response characteristics of measuring system or instrument similar to in control system you studied the time domain specifications 
the time domain specifications are nothing but uh, speed response speed response of measurement system refers to the ability to respond for a sudden change of input for sudden change of input the measure and if the varies what is the response hence the speed response is evaluated from the knowledge of transient conditions of the system and various terms related to that is rise time peak time measurement lag settling time and delay time these are the various time domain specifications also comes under speed of response time domain specifications means dynamic characteristics it is if the respect to time if it is varies you can understand this by seeing this diagram understand this you can understand this it is a second order system time response if you consider it is a delay time 50 percent of the time it is reached rise time and peak time these are all peak time delay time and and the settling time it is the settling time plus or minus five percent of uh, in input input or output if you consider an x-axis y-axis and time in x-axis if you draw a curve second order system the various time domain specifications comes under speed of response of the system those are dynamic characteristics speed of response Next, another one is fidelity. Fidelity is defined as faithfully reproducible. It is also similar to resolution. Comes to dynamic characteristics. It is defined as the degree to which the measurement system is capable to produce, reproduce the changes in input without any dynamic error. That is fidelity. Fidelity is in static characteristics similar to that precision. It is defined as degree to which. Suppose if you change the input without any error if the output also changes that is the fidelity of system only zero order systems has excellent fidelity zero order systems has more fidelity excellent fidelity whereas systems of higher order producing output will not will not be changes for higher order systems the zero order system st systems instruments are excellent fidelity whereas comes to higher order the fidelity reduces that is fidelity how to define fidelity of uh, instrument the faithfulness or degree to which the measurement system is capable of faithfully reproducing reproducing means precision it is but uh, if you change the input it is uh, without any error if it produces the output then it is known as fidelity the second order system has a less less fidelity that means without any error if the faithful representation representation of the output is less coming to what is the zero order of the system the order of the system is differential equation which describes the system is called order of the system is zero order means if the highest value of power for the input output output all frequencies is zero order system the order of the system is the differential equation that describes the order of the system zero order system has ideal dynamic performance characteristics because the output proportional to input zero order system for all frequencies the output is proportional to input for example linear potentiometer in example for zero order system linear potentiometer is the example for zero order system linear potentiometer the linear potentiometer has excellent fidelity that is from uh, that is a slide wire potentiometer is a linear potentiometer whatever be the input changes again reproducing the same output it is happening linear potentiometer what is a second order system if the order of the differential equation describe the system is one then it is a first order then second order system means zero order system it is if the power is uh, the differential equation power is uh, zero then zero order system for example linear potentiometer what is first order system if the order of the differential equation which describe the system is one then it is called first order system for example temperature transducer what is the example for second or first order system is temperature transducer is the first order system temperature transducer temperature transducer temperature transducer comes under first order system since it is characterized by single parameter by constant time second order system is the order of the differential equation which describe the system is 2 then it is called second order system 
that is second order system has a power is x square or y square like that the numerator has a maximum value is 2 then mass spring or mass force mass spring in control systems you studied that mass spring characteristics are second order system characteristics what is bandwidth bandwidth is the another dynamic response one is a time response speed of response fidelity and third one is bandwidth bandwidth everybody knows that the range of frequencies over which the system able to detect or the range of frequencies over which the system able to respond that is the bandwidth of an instrument bandwidth simply we can say that it is the highest point of frequency and lowest point of frequency for which the instrument is producing the output bandwidth is the difference between the highest cut off frequency to lowest cut off frequency is known as bandwidth similar to static error another characteristic is dynamic error dynamic error dynamic error is the difference between true value to measured value again error means true value to measured value with uh, without with time and if the time is changing it is known as dynamic error if the time it changes if you obtain the difference between measured value to true value without any static error the static error may be assumed as zero that is dynamic error dynamic error of the any instrument is defined as the difference between true value of quantity to and measured value without any static error now the different types of errors are there there is a no instrument with perfect accuracy 